new adventure. The weather at Morton's looking amazing. Pretty much got like 10 kilometers an hour, like five to 10 knots of winds for the next couple of days. Perfect direction. So we're packing up. Cleaning the boat. Rochelle's the boat is really, really dirty. Disgusting. Yeah. So a quick little clean and then we'll head out to take, I don't know, hoping we can get sorted within an hour. Yeah, sounds good. We've got a little little drop by the trailer place on the way, put a new tire on, and, um, and we're making our way up there. Let's have some fun. You want to do cleaning there, babe? <laughs> yeah, so obviously it's been too long since we used the boat. said I would be an hour or we would be an hour to get everything sorted and it's currently 11.20 which is three hours <laughs> same same I'm proud one three I think whatever good yeah we found our spot good spot Everyone's got their beer in their hands. And the Rex. It's gonna be fun. All right, now that the 8,000 tourists have gone, uh, we've actually got the wrecks to ourselves. Let's get in and get amongst it. Rochelle's wearing a full steamer, because that's all she brought. She's going to be in massive regret. At least I wore some shorts. Well, that was terrible. It was like a meter of visibility. But we saw scorpion fish. Three octopus, yeah, all in the space for five minutes. Kind of saw an octopus, and I had to one up that, so I found a lionfish, and then he found two more octopus. Oh, it was a lionfish, wasn't it? A scorpion fish? Yeah. No, yeah. Lion, scorpion, they both anyway, sound bad. Anyway, kind of three octopus, Rochelle one lionfish. Lionfish, nice. Kind of wins. Kind of wins. Whew. How good's this? We got the sun setting just behind us over the wrecks and wow doesn't get much better than this there's mm, probably 30 boats in for the night in this anchorage and it's just sensational the big cruise ships leaving which is great so there won't be 7,000 snorkelers in the water tomorrow. I don't know. Tomorrow's Saturday. I think we're going to have 8,000 snorkelers. Oh, look, there's another, we'll cruise, another cruise ship's coming in anyway. Yes. <laughs> Just as one there leaves, is. another one arrives. <laughs> Perfect. This is delicious. This is so good. You knocked dinner out of the park. Okay, We've got cutlery. For this trip? No, 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 no. We got teaspoons. Yeah, yeah. We didn't forget cutlery. We've just got these. That's it. I've chosen just eat with my fingers. Mm. But we've got pancakes for dinner. How was your day? It was good. You ready for bed? I'm ready for awkward reading by my phone light. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, um, a highlight of the day would have to be banana pancakes for dinner. That was awesome. That was so good. The sunset though. <laughs> the sunset was unreal. Yeah. Uh, by the way, how comfy is this boat? <laughs> We've got our own beds. We call this the red light district. Yeah. 
We've got these fans are awesome. They just run all night, circulate air. It's great. And Conan doesn't have to snuggle me, so he's happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get your own bed on a boat. Life couldn't be better than that. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. and... There's... What? There's so, there's so many fish busting up around the boat. <laughs> the um, trevally. Just got up to pee and there's a lot of action around the boat. So this? this one has been catching fish. What? Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you're happy. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. We had an awesome sleep last night. Sleeping on the boat's the best. A little rocking like you're a baby again. It's freaking good. Anyway, we've woken up to a splendid day. We did go for a fish this morning. It was terrible. We caught about 300 grinners, so it's not great. Uh, Very successful. And Rochelle is... Breakfast duty. Breakfast duty. So we're having roast pumpkin, fried up mushrooms, tomato, sausages, and got some eggs coming. And, and we also have last night's banana pancakes. Banana pancakes. Banana pancakes. Don't look like much. Organic. Delicious. She's good in the kitchen and in the galley. <laughs> What'd you find? We I dropped my snorkel and mask over the front of the boat and had to do a quick shirt off dive in, mean, get it! Oh. oh yeah. At least the water's warm. Yes. Get you in it, like. What is it, 9 a.m.? Yeah. You can. Alright, we're gonna go for a little explore to Tangaluma. Yeah, got my clothes. Yeah. And we're gonna see how deep it is in a second. Uh kind of promised me I could touch. We were gonna bring the tender. Oh yeah. Oh, sweet yeah, as. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Alright, Tangaluma girl. Show us the path. I rolled out a uh, a red, well, a blue carpet for you. I hope you like it. This way, sir. Thank you. Well, if you have not been to Tangaluma, there's not really much to see. Maybe don't worry about it. So just stick with Tangaluma Rex. Okay, pretty sure like half of Brisbane is here at Tangaluma this weekend. We'll um, we'll put the uh, put the drone up and uh, give you an idea of how many boats are here. This is where we lie down and Rochelle does most of her book reading. Yes. Don't you? Yes. I'm at page 210. You wrote 200 pages of a book? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Do you like my view? It's a good view. Mm. Alright, day two. It's about to hit high tide. We're going to try again at the shipwreck, see if we've got any better viz. At least today, we're in like seven, eight meters of water. At least today, you can almost sort of see the bottom, so that's a good sign. Rochelle here is brushing up on her... Fish uh, species. Yeah, nice. What book you got there? Um, Field Guide, Marine Fish. Uh, this book but... got absolutely smashed when we were up in Far North Queensland on our last trip. Enjoying the unlimited fresh water. <laughs> Love it, don't you? Yes. You're very lucky. My hair's lucky. Yeah. I don't mind salt water. My hair gets naughty if there is. Having some northerly winds pick up, about 15 knots predicted tonight. 
so we thought we'd make a move to Peel Island and we'll anchor on the south side of there and we might do some fishing along the way or we'll just shoot straight down if we don't really see any action. See you when we get there. So the weather got nasty blowing up from the northerly and we just got down to Peel and I was like, yeah, hey, probably be a few boats there. Uh, we'll put the drone up and see how many boats are there. Holy crikey. the Peel Island car park, uh, Peel Island Marina. There's maybe 80 boats here? No wait, there'd be 200 boats here. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Pretty much concludes the trip, Rochelle. Yeah, the uh, weather isn't that great anymore and the visibility in the ocean's pretty terrible, so we're not gonna jump in. So. Yeah, we're gonna head back get the boat cleaned up. It was a nice little overnighter and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the journey with us. We'll go back and start cleaning the boat. Yes!